Hi everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about the MODIS uh, land cover data. So we'll import it from the Earth Engine uh, data archive uh, and open it in QGIS and we'll write some Python script to uh, import it and just display it, right? So the MODIS uh, land cover data is a 500 meter resolution which covers a global um, spatial extent and this is the image collection ID on Earth Engine so you need to use this ID uh, in your script to um, import this database okay and it contains data from 2001 to the present okay so um, you can select any specific year and you know you can also just check in some other uh, information on our engine in terms of the different bands and you know terms of use you know citation and doi and also you know description about the product okay so we'll be importing this data on a qgis um, our engine um, python api plugin so let's uh, dive into um, qgis and python so here's a, a QGIS environment. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is import the Earth Engine plugin uh, by going to plugins and then manage and install plugins. If you have not done so, please um, in install the Google Earth Engine plugin. In my case, I've already um, installed the Earth Engine plugin. So the next thing is just to open a, a Python um, code editor here by clicking here. I already have that and let me just open the um, my script, my Python script. Let's just drag this a little bit so that we'll uh, have a larger type, font type here. So here's my script. So the first thing I always need to do is just import, you know, the Earth Engine um, library and also the map package in that to kind of visualize some. Um, uh, um, you know, some outputs of my analysis. Uh, and the next thing is I'll load uh, the MODIS um, land cover data, which we have already seen here. I'll use this image collection ID in my script here and um, specify uh, the land cover type, type one, okay? So now I imported the, and I also define which year I'm uh, interested because the uh, MODIS, um, land cover data covers uh, data from 2001 to the current or present uh, date. So I'll specify here 2012 um, in my script to visualize land use land cover data for 2012. And also I'll just create some, you know, visualization parameter for each of the different land cover class. For example, um, I define a color palette for water um, here for uh, forest and sharp grass. And also wetland here, cropland, uh, you know, urban, uh, and other land cover classes. For example, here crop mosaic, snow and ice, barren and tundra. So this is my kind of color visualization parameter. Okay, the next thing is to apply that, um, you know, land cover data and just apply this visualization parameter uh, here by writing map.addLayer to display my MODIS land cover here. So I'll just call this cover, which I already defined here, 2012 MODIS land cover, and also IG, um, IGBP palette, which I already defined here, um, kind of providing different color for the different land use land cover class, right? And I'll just uh, give it a name so that when I look at it here, I just remember what it is. So it's IGBP classification. Uh, so my script is ready. I'll just go ahead and, and execute that script and then I'll have a land cover. Uh, you can also, you know, display different background image here. In this case, I just chose Google Satellite and Google Map as it is just kind of uh, me making the Earth Engine uh, environment on the actual code editor on Earth Engine. So just let's look at, let's uh, open a, a Google Maps image uh, background here. Uh, once I execute my script, uh, in a moment, the MODIS land cover will display here. So pretty cool. So now I have my uh, MODIS uh, land, global land cover data, which is a 500 meter spatial resolution. 
um, as you can see here, you know, different, um, you know, class has different color coding. Uh, as you can see here in the Sahara Desert, um, you know, pretty much barren and the Congo Basin and the Brazil, uh, the Amazon Basin is, you know, mo mostly forested. Um, so it's pretty cool, right? So one of the things that you can do is just you can go ahead and, and you know, apply a mask for a country or just a specific study area to analyze um, more in, in, you know, in depth um, for a certain specific location. Uh, other than that, this is, um, you know, an example of how you can use Python API of the Earth Engine platform and a QGIS um, graphic user interface as well as code editor to access uh, land cover data, in this case, the MODIS land use land cover data and just do some, uh, you know, basic analysis kind of importing and selecting and just defining some uh, color coding, uh, you know, visualization parameter and then display it in a QGIS environment.